Yo, what's up guys? NJ Bike Life here. Out and about with my subscriber Eric on his brand new FZ07. We're not stopping for that light. So, Eric got upset with me that I wasn't recording any videos and I've rode with him like three, four times already. So, Eric, this video is for you. Congrats on your brand new FZ07. As you can tell, it's louder than my FZ06, but my bike is probably uh, faster than his. Because that was those bikes are just filled with torque. They're not filled with, with manpower. I mean horsepower. We got a, uh, who's that? Seaside Park with the American flag? America, Berkeley Township Cop. So, Eric's shit living large. He's got the Fender Eliminator kit on there. He's got sweet uh, mirrors on that bike. For some reason, he's riding in the opposite lane as me when we could both be riding in the same lane. But obviously, he's not going to stop for pedestrians, amateur move. Now he gets in front. So, yeah, me and Eric, we just kind of rode to um, Seaside Heights. We drove down by Seaside Park. I don't know if you guys know it, but right now, I mean, this video is going to be coming out in two days. Right now, Island Beach State Park and every state facility is closed for uh, the government shutdown here in New Jersey. Uh, shout out to Governor Christie for that. Um, unfortunately, I'm stuck at work because I don't work for the state. But that's okay. I don't mind working. Hey! Look, Eric's, Eric's an amateur and he's stuck in that lane. So, yeah, we're down here in Seaside. We're gonna take the long way home. Eric thinks he's cool because he got a mirror advisor. He's pretty cool. He put flush mounts on the front. He always wears a big ass jacket. It's probably like so hot in that jacket. Nah, I'm not doing none of that, dude. I'm just... I'm just riding my motorcycle, talking into my helmet, no big deal. You know, it's normal. Um, I do have some unfortunate bad news. And that is that I have sold the Grom. The Grom is sold. Yep. Wasn't interested in it anymore. Yeah, I see him. I see him. When I'm passing him, thanks for letting me know. Look at this divot. Whoop. Yeah, I sold the Grom. It was it was a cool bike. I put a bunch of money into that bike and even more miles. But it was just uh, just wasn't it wasn't quick enough for me. It was like an unsafely quick or unsafely unquick. Eric doesn't know. <laughs> He's still stuck. <laughs> Eric didn't quite learn how to anticipate people's reactions and just go around them or do his own thing before they even have a chance to think. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. He got stuck behind that car. <sighs> Shout out to Eric for getting stuck behind the car. That was, that was sick. Oh, it's green. Hey, look, another bike. <coughs> Saw it in. Oh, cool. Just picked the left lane. So, America, Red Cross, America. Right now we're cruising through Lavalette on our way home from Seaside. I was looking for some scrap metal because all I do is just scrap metal all day now. But uh, none of that was in sight. I uh, Since I sold the Grom, I haven't really been riding the bike much. Just been kind of focused on scrapping metal, fixing my truck. And, uh... <laughs>
Dude, whoa, and that guy hit the bike lane? That's ballsy. I mean, I guess he is a bike. That guy took the meaning of bike lane a lot further than it, than it was intended to be. But Eric, I apologize for not making your video. I would shout out your Instagram. Look, he's making me wait, go to the right. See, he doesn't quite, he doesn't quite get it yet. How to like avoid traffic for some reason. He'll pick it up. He was telling me not to go in and out of uh, lanes over in, over in Lakewood, because we went through Lakewood to get here. He was like, um, you mind not going in and out of traffic this time? I was like, yeah, that's fine. But I like going in and out of traffic because I don't have to worry about the car in front of me and what they're gonna do. At least when I go in and out of traffic, I do it so that I don't have cars in front of me, aside of me, behind me. Which is the best for motorcycles because then you can ride like by yourself, ride safely and you don't really have to worry about the movement of other cars. And like, other, like what other people are gonna do that will make your movements different. So I'm always a firm believer in stay away from as many cars as possible, get in front of as many cars, and then you can ride however you wanna ride. But cars are the worst thing that can happen to motorcycles. And of course, we're, we're at the Jersey Shore, right? It's July 2nd, July 4th, right around the corner. You know people are gonna be driving absolutely wild. You're supposed to stop for pedestrians within crosswalk. So people see a pedestrian like not even on the crosswalk yet and they're like slamming on their brakes. Otherwise, the police down here in the beach towns just give you like every single ticket in the book. So, I mean, I don't blame them, but it's definitely above and beyond what you should be doing. See this car, there's only one. Eric's stuck behind two, but he got a little smart. He came behind me. So he's got the FC07. What, it, what exhaust is that, two brothers? And a, a vomit, what is that, a vomit tech? Wimo tech. Oh, a Wimo, Wimo tech. Uh, frame sliders, those are those look actually really good. Uh, no one really hears me out on the street right now. It's just uh, Eric there here. I do like the Fender Eliminator and the integrated tail light. That's actually pretty cool. It looks it looks sick at night. Cause it's like a full light. Look at that doggy. The reason why I wanted to come down those down this long way was the last time my dad was through here, he said there's so much scrap metal out here. And I know what kind of scrap they're throwing out. They're throwing out like beach chairs, which is aluminum, 40 cents a pound. They're throwing out like stuff that you could sell for money, not just scrap it. Eric thinks he's cool because he has a mirrored visor. I can see myself in it. He gets Arizona in the bottle. That's another cool thing about Eric. He's been subscribed to me for like a pretty darn long time. And he noticed me on Instagram. Or he noticed me because I went to uh, his job and I, I had my, uh, what's it called? My bracelet on, my uh, G-Shock on. And he noticed my G-Shock and hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. And was like, yo, is that you? I was like, yeah, that's me. And then it was like another year and a half until he was able to get his motorcycle license. Go pet that dog. Pet that dog. <laughs> but now that he's finally got it, he did the motorcycle safety course when I had the Grom, I went down there. What? Dude, we... we <laughs> He should go to the left. In theory, he should go to the left. In theory, he should go to the left. I'm going to the left. Don't 
don't crash into it. Man, look how bald that guy's head is. It's so shiny. Don't crash into me. So, shout out to Eric for finally riding with me. I'm sure you can't hear this because I have my visor open and Eric sitting right next to me. Just completely fogging down my whole video with his loud exhaust. But, just wanted to give a shout out to Eric, hook him up with a video. Best subscriber in North America. I think I'm up to like 700 subs right now, so shout out to everyone subbing. I'm sorry you will not be seeing the Honda Grom videos anymore, just because I do not have the Grom anymore. But at least you'll at least you'll see cool FZ6 videos, and that's all that matters. I still got NJ Bike Life stickers. If anyone wants them, just shout shout me out on Instagram. The my Instagram profile is in the description below. And just let me know, I'll mail them out to you. I got envelopes, I got stamps. But, that's it for the video. I'll uh, see you guys later. I'd post Eric's Instagram, but he doesn't really use it. He just has it just to have it, so. Shout out to people that don't use Instagram, but have one. America. See ya.